Training volume is one of, or we could even say, the most important part when trying to build muscle. This not only shows us signs, but I've also experienced it with my own fitness journey. So you want to find out how much training volume you really need. And I genuinely want to help you figure out the sweet spot which is perfect for you. That's why in this video I will answer this question for you. I'm sorry that I need to interrupt myself right there super quickly, but I just wanted to make clear that if you implement the things I'm about to tell you in this video, you will for sure make gains. It doesn't matter if you are a complete beginner or if you have already built some muscle. Either you will start to build muscle with these tips or you will start to build muscle even faster. But with that said, let's go on with the video. So as time is precious, I would say, let's do it. So first up, these numbers or recommendations aren't made up by me. These are actually recommendations by a volume expert and he's called Dr. Mike Israel. He's a great and really huge guy, so you should definitely make sure to check him out because he has a lot of knowledge. And yeah, I will link his blog and his YouTube channel in the description. I assume you already know what training volume is, but if you don't know, it's just easily said how many sets times reps you do. And in sports science, it's even how many sets times reps times weight you do. But in this video, we only will talk about how many sets you should do per muscle group per week. For this, we need to make three basic assumptions. First of all, you are in a rep scheme from around 6 to 20 reps. The second assumption we make is your intensity is between 30 and 85% of your one rep max. And then we have the third assumption, your RIR. So this means reps in reserve. So that's easily said how many reps you are shy of failure. So for example, you can do 10 pull-ups and if you only do 8 pull-ups, then your RER is 2 in this example. So you are 2 reps shy of failure. And we do assume you do your exercises with an RER from 4 up to 1 reps in reserve. And sometimes you can even go to RER 0, so you go completely to failure, but I wouldn't recommend this to do it too often because that's really toxic on your nervous system. But well, that's a topic for a whole new video. By the way, if you want to see a video about this, let me know in a comment. Okay, now that we have that said, let's go over the actual recommendations how much volume you should do. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt again, but what I forgot to mention in the video is that you shouldn't count overlapping volume because this is already calculated in the numbers. So just that you understand what I'm talking about. For example, if you do pull-ups, the main muscle which is uh, involved in the pull-up is the back. So only count the pull-up for volume of your back. Don't count it as volume for your biceps, even though it is involved in it. So yeah, only count the volume for the body part, which does the most work in the exercise. So as I said, these are recommendations by Mike Israel, and he has even a whole table, which I will put up on the screen here. And you can either screenshot it right now, or you can search it up on the internet by searching something like Mike Israel volume table. In my opinion, the easiest way to explain you this table is to first of all go over these four different categories Mike Israel made. So first up we have MV, which stands for maintenance volume. So that's the minimum volume you have to do in order to keep the muscle you have right now. The second thing we have is MEV, the minimum effective volume. So that's the minimum volume you have to do in order to build muscle. And third we have MAV, which stands for maximum adaptive volume. And that's the volume you should do in order to build muscle the most efficiently and the fastest. And fourth we have MRV, which stands for maximum recoverable volume. So that's the maximum volume you can do and recover from. All right, so let's talk super quickly about the volume table. And yes, I have my tablet here because I can't remember all the numbers at once. And yes, it's obviously super individual and you have to try it out yourself where it really is your sweet spot. But this is a really good beginning to start with. So I will just make one example so you know um, what we are talking about with this table. So for example, when you talk about the biceps, the maintenance volume is around zero to six sets per week. The minimum volume you have to do in order to build muscle is around 8 to 14 sets for the biceps. And if you really want to get the maximum out with your biceps, then you should do somewhere between 14 to 20 sets per week for your biceps. 
and the maximum recoverable volume is around 26 sets plus but that's highly individual it might be higher for you but it also can be lower for you and that's also the same for the other recommendation so you might have to do more for your biceps in order to grow it the fastest but it also can be you have to do less than the recommendations on the table here hello it's me editing Tobias again so i forgot to mention in the video that over time as you progress in your training these ranges can change so for example let's say in the beginning you build your biceps super fast with around 14 sets per week and that's your maximum adaptive volume but over time you progress and get more volume tolerant and then your maximum adaptive volume may bump up to let's say 15 16 17 18 sets per week so keep that in mind but now let's go on with the video all right so i would say have a look on the table yourself because it makes no sense for me to read all through it you can do it yourself and then just start somewhere and try to find the sweet spot regarding your training. Peace.